All right, now, when it comes to selecting your participants, I know I said this before, but I'm going to reemphasize it because I always have groups that select inappropriate participants. Make sure that you select participants that are reflective of the types of users that would use the product you are testing. So I'll go back to my example of the accounting software. Right, if you are testing accounting software, should you have your abuela who was born and raised in Cuba and worked on, I don't know, my grandmother worked on, worked on a farm, right, never touched anything with accounting, should you have that person test your accounting software? Yeah, no. I'm sorry, what? He's all you need. All right. So make sure you choose the appropriate participants. Now, when approaching your participants, who remembers what your requirements are for your participants? In addition to that, how many do you have to have? Five. How many of them can be IT or CS majors? One. What does that mean about the remaining four? They have to be regular people. Because we are not regular, we are brilliant people. All right, so make sure that they are not CS or IT majors. When you are approaching your participants, you want to be happy with a big smile on your face. I know it sounds obvious, but I actually have seen students who will walk up to someone. Will you participate in my study? No. Will you participate in my study? No. Smile. Happy, happy. You could say something like, we would like, would you like to help with some website or product research? You can tell them it's for a class if you're you know, on campus or something, that's fine. But you are asking for their help. Why do you think you are wording it in a way that you are asking for their help? Because you are asking them for, asking them for their help, and it also helps remind you and kind of plants the little seed that you are not testing them, they are helping you test the product. Right? You want to try to emphasize that. It's very subtle, but the more times they get this message, the more comfortable they're going to feel. Remember that you want to be general when you are asking them about testing this product. Again, I, as I mentioned before, do not specifically tell them what product it is. All right, so if you tell them, all right, we're going to go test, um, I don't know, littletracy.com. I have no idea if that exists, by the way. What are they going to do when they get home? Yeah, they're going to that website, and they're going to be looking at it and testing it out. And since one of our requirements is that they can't be familiar with it, what is that going to do to your data? Corrupt it. Yeah, it's going to corrupt your data. So you want to be general. right? You can tell them what type of product it is, what type of website, but don't tell them specifically which one it is. Make sure you tell them approximately how much time they're going to be spending doing the testing. Right, you want to be respective of their schedule as well as them being respective of your schedule. Let them know how long it's going to take. And have them commit to an appointment time in the schedule that you've created. Remember last time we talked about if you're not going to be running the participant immediately when you talk to them, you want to set up a schedule. Have them make an appointment. Let them know it is an appointment. Remind them that you will be waiting for them. Now, if it is a couple of days away, one of the other things you may want to do is see if you can get their contact information just so you can remind them about the appointment. They may not want to give it to you, but if they do, that's why you want to smile. You can ask them and say, well, you know, would you like me to drop you an email, give you a call, just as a courtesy reminder of our appointment. You don't say, yeah, give me your contact information. I'm going to give you a call. Make sure you come. <laughs> yeah, no, remember, it's a 
courtesy reminder. You're helping them remember. See, you're so polite, right? Make sure you ask more participants than you need because you may have participants that don't show up. They may forget. They may have an emergency. They may, they, they're trying to be yeah, may, they may just be trying to be polite with you and say, oh, yes, of course I'll come. And they're like, yeah, I'm so not coming. Right? Or they may even get there, read your consent form and say, I don't want to do this. No, you want to videotape me? Or some other silly thing. You can offer a small reward. We already talked about donuts, you have to pay for yourself. Right? Or a little certificate that'll cost you a few cents. Or a really big thank you. Although, by the way, don't hug them unless they happen to be Hispanic and you're used to that. Right? I, I learned that when I moved to Texas, actually. People thought I was really weird. All right. So again, make sure your participants are representative of your intended users. They're not already familiar with the specific product you are testing. And if at all possible, it's harder in this class, but if at all possible, see if you can get a cross-section of expertise. All right, don't just get computer experts. Don't just get novices. All right? And so think about a minute while I go talk to this gentleman. No, 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 that's okay. I'm sorry, sir. I can to call yesterday and somebody said today is the same thing. I wasn't the one who called. Yes, yes maybe yes. the person in there, the person recording it. Let's see. <laughs> I'm okay. You got you guys called? Yeah. Everyone's, they said they're cold. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, now that you've had some time to engage in very insightful thought about recruiting your participants, you guys are ready to go out, right? Yeah. Now, remember you want to be happy and social with non-IT people. I know it's difficult. It will expand your horizons. It will be awesome. And I think I mentioned before, for those of you who don't have a significant other, great excuse to go talk to someone you think is particularly interesting. Yeah, don't, don't listen to me at all if you have a significant other. You're married. I am not trying to corrupt you morally. So, oh, very funny. I'm not saying it's okay if you have a significant other. All right, but remember, smile, be happy. You guys are social creatures, right? Yeah. On the internet? In person. All right, so go recruit your participants. Once you bring them in, don't forget you need to use your script. Make sure you remind them. Again, as many times as I'm mentioning it to you, Remember, you're not testing them. They're helping you test the product. Make sure your script lets them know things like you are going to observe and take notes, not on them. You're going to be taking notes on what's wrong with the product and what does work on, on the product. You may ask some questions, and you will not participate in any other way or provide any instructions.